This is an overview of WordPress with BuddyPress and the default and the custom profile fields. Once we install BuddyPress, we can go to the users and then profile fields. This is where we come to create new fields. We just have to click on this add new field. Once the new field arrives, it gives us a drop down and in the drop down, this is where we find the default fields. But sometimes default fields are not enough. So we go to bodydev.com and download this plugin, BodyPress X Profile Custom field, field Types. And with this plugin, we get some extra custom fields. And these extra fields really enhances our user experience at the front. Now the question is how the fields are implemented in the front end and where the data can be collected. So at the back end, once uh, these fields are set and saved, at the front end, the member can go in and click on this edit button and edit profile window comes up and this is where all these fields show up. And this is where the members insert their data. Now the question is, what do we do with that data? How to implement those? In order for us to do those, we need to follow these three steps. Get the field data first, then code and style the template, and then refresh the browser to visualize it. To get the field, we go inside the profile fields at the WordPress backend. And instead of add new, we just pick out our field and click on edit. The edit screen pops up and then we look at the URL and right here, the field ID is shown. We collect that field ID and we go to the template. This is what a usual template should look like. In this template, we need to collect the field data right here in this variable. To do that, we need this field 28, which we collected, and we also need the logged in current user's ID, which we collect right here. Once that information is collected, we come to this HTML block and display it by echoing that variable. We also use specific CSS ID in this HTML block so that we can come here in our SAS or CSS, use that ID to specifically style it. Once the styling is done, then we go back to the browser in the front end, refresh, and this is what the result looked like. This is the field header and this is the field content. This is how the BuddyPress fields are implemented. Thanks for watching.